Hello and welcome to the second video where I'm just going to take a quick look at the gear that I was wearing during my accident last year just to see how well it fared. So this time it is my jacket and my boots and I will be explaining why I'm not looking at my trousers. So first off the boots. Now these are Daytona Roadstar Gore-Tex boots. Very expensive boot. This is the right hand boot and this is the one that sustained the damage during the accident. But I'll do some close-ups but basically all that happened was it got a couple of nicks on the bridge of the foot area. So my foot and my ankle area sustained no injuries whatsoever. So Daytona Roadstar boots absolutely cracking in my opinion. They did the job. They're still perfectly good to Wear. and as I say the only damage they sustained was like a couple of nicks in the bridge of the boot. Okay next up is the jacket and as you can see I'm wearing the jacket. Now this is a Merlin Yoxall waxed waterproof jacket. It's been brilliant. Now this is the Yoxall one. There is a later version of it that's come out with D30 body armor and I think a warmer internal lining. But So this is the first one and I think I paid around £250 for it. And there's very little damage. The only damage that there is is to the sleeve here where there's a couple of puncture holes. And it almost looks as though some, something has come from the inside out. You know, like two tiny little aliens that have burst out of my sleeve and are probably sat on Sigourney Weaver's face somewhere in the, in the Scottish borders. But yeah, quite, quite odd looking. Um, I'm not quite sure how they were caused, to be honest. But that's the only damage. Um, but I didn't, I didn't injure this arm at all. So um, whatever did happen didn't have any impact from an injury perspective. I did break my collarbone, my left collarbone. Now there is padding there, but I would imagine that nothing short of an airbag probably would have stopped my collarbone from breaking. So it's not so much the, jack so not so much the jacket's fault. I think it did as good as it possibly could do. But as we know, when you land on your shoulder, probably from quite some height at some speed, you know, you probably really do need an airbag uh, system to actually protect you from that. But overall, the jacket has maintained its integrity perfectly and I'm going to be perfectly happy wearing it again. Not only is it, you know, a nice warm waterproof jacket, it's pretty stylish, pretty nice and it's a good price. So the Merlin Yoxor jacket, highly recommended. Now, in terms of my trousers, I can't actually show you the trousers because they were cut off me. Uh, they were soaked in blood and they were thrown into a bin and incinerated. However, I was wearing a pair of Furigan jeans similar to these. So these are just Furigan Aramid jeans with body armour in at the knees and hips. And from an accident perspective, aside from the impact injury, which was the broken knee and broken femur, that I had no other kind of gravel rash injuries whatsoever, not on my legs, not on my body, nowhere at all did I get any gravel rash whatsoever. And gravel rash can be pretty horrible, so I'm really thankful that I didn't get any of that. So the Furigan jeans, I think, yeah, they don't offer the, you know, max protection, but again, I'm not quite sure what I would need to have been wearing not to have suffered a broken knee when I hit a car head on. Probably some kind of knee airbag that doesn't exist. So I'm quite happy with the Fjordigan jeans. I mean, to be honest with you, when I next get on two wheels, I'm probably going to be wearing leathers and not wearing uh, denim jeans again. But that's nothing to do with the Fjordigan jeans, which I still think are pretty good. Anyway, hope that gives you a bit of an insight into how modern motorcycle gear behaves in the event of an accident. And all I can say is modern motorcycle gear is pretty incredible. And I just hope that anybody watching never has to experience a serious motorcycle accident. Anyway, hope that helps and I'll see you on two wheels soon. Bye.